You might consider yourself the smartest tool in the shed. You might consider yourself the most intelligent girl you've ever met. You might consider yourself the most magnificent woman out there. You might consider yourself a great spy of American government. You might consider yourself the superest secret service agent or super sleuth of journalism, but you might just not be that. You see, you don't know what you don't know, and because you want to presume that you know, you harm yourself. A true reporter is willing to do the work, and a true reporter knows what their goals are. A true reporter's goals is to maintain and withstain an employment set, set for their life. Now, whether that's self-employment, that has been proven possible today with all the online people that are writing for the Washington Post and the New York Times today, or the Los Angeles Times today, those reporters, I doubt, are in-house anymore. Most newspapers are going by the wayside, which is a shame. It does protect our environment, for sure, from the waste and the ink that was abusive to our land and to our waterways. But at the same time, it means that there's all kinds of reporters out there, even today, for our major news stations, and we don't see the name of the reporter. That's a problem, I feel. It takes away accountability and responsibility for people's responsibilities of writing correctly in journalism in every way. But if you're trying to say, I know what this is, you don't know what it is. You know what your version of knowledge of what that is. But when someone is successful, other men are upset, as opposed to saying, this is my life, that's your life. But what you're trying to say is, you have the right to decide who gets life and who doesn't get life. That's the whole right to life concept, isn't it, with regard to unborn babies? But you're not thinking about the cost to that woman's life or the expense and expenditure of that man's immature emotion and psychological set. You see, we've got plenty of men who want to go out and fuck everything, but they fuck America when they do that. 